beautiful boy, Dan. Does he want his milky Dan? Ida, what's this? Shh! Ida, what's this? Can't you see we've got a little visitor? Go on. Yes. Ah, ah. We'll have to break you to him gently. Well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> There's a beautiful boy, Dan. Who's his mother's precious? Who's his mother's pet? Who's his mother's best? <laughs> Who's his mother? <laughs> hey, hey, thank you. How many times have I told you don't take things in off the doorstep? He's not off the... Shh! He's not off the doorstep. Can't I do someone a favour without you going all East Lynn? Oh, baby minding. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's have a look. Ah. Ada, I am not contagious, mate. <laughs> you can't be sure. And if Julia Threadgold came back and found he'd developed something, I don't know what she'd say. That belongs to Julia Threadgold? And not so much of a bat, if you don't mind. But, but the Julia Threadgold's an old maid. She, she, and she, what's that got to do with it? Nothing at all. And she's very proud of her precious, bless his little cold black phone. Bless his cold black phone. Very careful. Ada, that's a cat. Well, of course it's a cat. <laughs> and Julia's very proud of him. He's a prize cat, this one, mm. aren't you, love? He's got three gold cups and seven silver medals. <laughs> he walks off with all the prizes, first, seconds and thirds, and more honourable mentions than you've had hot dinners. Go on. Yeah. He's got a little bell and all. What is he, musical? Mm. What do we call him? Or does he ring for us? He might well do that. The name on his pedigree is the Black Prince, but you're not stuck up, are you, love? We can call him Blackie, can't we? That's very kind of you, mate. Yes, it is kind of him. Don't be frightened, he's only your Uncle Alf. How are you? That cat don't like me. I'm not surprised, he's very intelligent. <laughs> Does he want his milky den? Oh, what den? Auntie Joyce is getting his milky for him. Auntie Jane. Joyce is getting his milky for him, then? What have we got here? Hello, Dad. What's this? Eddie, son, we have just become an uncle. <laughs> Haven't you got no thought at all blaring out dance music at this time of night? Half past seven? How do you expect Blackie to only sleep with that going on? Blackie, I that look of a just about... I've had just about enough of this. Have you? Yes, I have. I can't speak above a whisper in my own arsehole just because of a great, big, ugly, dirty-faced mobby. <laughs> it's a good thing for you he's gone out, or he might resent that. He can resent... <gasps> he's gone out? Did you say he's gone out? Well, yes, well, it's constitutional sometimes. Then what are we whispering for? It doesn't do you any harm to keep him practice. Hey, I am a patient man. <laughs> I hadn't noticed it. I am a patient man all the same, but there are some things that drive me beyond human endurance. That perishing cat's been here three days. Three days! And he's turned the place upside down. Don't talk so stupid. That cat's valuable. He's a thoroughbred. He's a thoroughbred. Uh, what? <laughs> he's highly strong. He's very sensitive. Julia very was sensitive. telling me. The slightest little thing could disturb his emotional balance. Emotional balance. And when and you disturb mind. a thing like that, anything can happen. Uh, Falling uh, air, loss of the, the lot. Well, I'm not having that happen in here. I'm not having Julia Threadgold putting it around that I've lost her, her gold cup by nobbling her entry. Ma, aren't you getting things slightly out of proportion? I mean, take care of the cat Nursing by it. all means, but... Coddling this... it. Feather bedding it. Now, be quiet. Be quiet? But it's my feather bed. Jeff, when I wake up and find that thing on my, on my chest, it frightens the daylights out of me. And it's not particular where it puts its claws, neither. And if I snore, it's wrong. Interloping black brute, I'd like to ring it. You lay one finger on that cat now. I'll have you in splits. What are you shaking your head for? Well, I'm sorry, Ma, but I'm with Pa on this. Honestly, the care and attention you lavish on that monster, you'd think it was a baby. No, I never had that care and attention when I was a baby. No, and look at you now. No wind, bad teeth, and your coat full of dandruff. All right, all right, all right. When's Julia Threadgold coming home? Saturday. Saturday? Saturday. So remember, until then, the Black Prince can do no wrong. You don't seem to realise that cat's an aristocrat. I wonder he condescends to stay here at all. Aristocrat. Why doesn't she teach him the guitar and he could get his name in lights? <laughs> get his name in lights. A cat lights, you get it? 
<laughs> Nothing. Don't look so miserable, Jeff. Haven't you got any work to do? Work? That's really good. Good or bad, it's work. You're a writer. Well, go ahead and write. I mustn't use my typewriter, remember? The noise might disturb Blackie, remember? Oh, really? Two grown men make such a fuss over one little cat. A fuss? From you, that's good. You're in this thing as deep as your mother is. Cat Coddling Incorporated. Nonsense. I hope I haven't got things out of proportion. Mm, I wonder, now, what you think? Joycey, you don't mean... His <laughs> legs should go through all right, but his coat's so thick. Oh, blimey. <laughs> you mean you are knitting tiny garments for that four-legged teddy boy? I am, and he's not. He's very sweet. Oh, you won't. Besides, we must take good care of him. We mustn't forget that he's a prize cat. And you're a prize twerp. Now, Joycey, will you listen? <laughs> Fried fish. Fried fish. Fried fish. It's Blackie's supper. I was forgetting. Yes. That's Blackie's supper. Do you know what we've got? No. Rissoles. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Oh. It's cold. Oh. You may as well face up to it, son. As far as the women are concerned, we've been usurped. You, sir? You and me, usurped. By a jumped up, toughy nosed, fur coated parasite. Well, we're not going to stand for it. We're going to do something about it. For instance? Well, we tell them straight. We take a firm stand. Don't forget, son. When it comes to a battle of the sexes, we're outnumbering them. Three to two, can't it, Eddie? We're outnumbered. Yeah, we certainly are. Where is Eddie? I'll send him out. Oh, that'll be him back now. <laughs> Lovely boy, does he want his wife? A lovely fella for you, walkies. Come here, walkies. Now listen. Seems to be quiet this evening. What is everyone? If you mean the men say so, referring to him as everyone, he's just asking for trouble. Did Dad get back from the doctor? Of course he did. Making a fuss over a little thing like that. Yelling around, I've been mauled. Phone for the doctor. I told him if I phoned for anybody, it'd be the vet for Blackie. He said it was chewing up his bow tie. Well, what can he expect if he will wear a bow tie that looks like a dead mouse? They're all unreasonable. Do you know what Jeff called him? A sinister brooding symbol of evil. Well, that's a fine thing to call his father-in-law. Oh, well, <laughs> not that I disagree entirely, Martin. Look at Eddie. He takes Blackie for walks. It's true, but you can see his heart's not in it. Yes. And Jeff had the nerve to tell me that we were getting things out of proportion. Out of proportion, I like it. Joyce is six o'clock feet, quick! <laughs> All right. The one that chooses a short matchstick does the deed. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, blimey, a fine lot of cat disposers you are. Yeah, but, Dad... But nothing. Haven't we all agreed that it's either that cat or us? Yeah. Haven't we all reached a point beyond which human endeavour cannot go? Yeah. Haven't we signed a pledge? A solemn pledge which has been signed in blood. Yeah, but I... My blood. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, I don't want you to do away with the brute. He's got to be lost. That's all. Now, surely you can dispose of a flipping cat. Well, yes, And he doesn't but... have to be even lost for long. Now, look, mate. On the parish's collar, there's a little disc, like that. Now, on the one side, it's got Julius Redgold's name and address, right? On the other side, it's got the magic words. <laughs> magic words? Yes. If lost... Please return to this address, find a rewarded, and that is the crutch of my old plan. But Julia's not there. I know she's not there. So what happens? Finder takes Blackie home with him again, and Finder keeps on going to Julia's with Blackie until Finder finds Julia at home. Now have you got it? The short stick it is. Oh, luck, Eddie boy. Just a minute. I thought so. They were all short. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's a good thing. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. A combined operation, all right? That's better. What had you in mind? Well, I'll keep Mum busy. You two get rid of the cats, all right? Uh-uh. We'll do the decoy work. And <laughs> you do the dirty work. Me. An injured man. That's nice, isn't it? This very evening. Oh, all right. Okay, man. Synchronize watches. 
Take a turn outside, it's beginning to smell of cats in here. Take a turn, I think you are. Take the matches back, I can't get near the gas meter. And close that back door behind you. If Blackie gets out, we'll never see him again. You mean he'd make a bolt for it? Like a rocket. Go on. Huh? It's the goal of the world, isn't it? And he's only human blessing. We've got to keep you on your lip. Oh, Eddie, that reminds me. Oh, no, Mum. Walkie time. No, we're in the middle of a game. Whose move is it? Mine. Right. <laughs> Get the lead. Get the lead. <laughs> I can't find it. Hey to me, old China. The boy says he can't find it. Maybe you ought Try to... Try looking with your eyes open. <laughs> can't see it anywhere. Joycey, lover girl, Eddie says he can't see it. <laughs> well, go and help him, one of you, instead of sitting there like graven images. Oh, All right, I'll go. Honestly, you get more helpless every day. Well, you ever sing last? Where'd you put it? Well, uh, I know. Mum knows where it is. I'll go and ask her. No, you don't. We're not organising a rally. Well, it's not here. You must have put it somewhere else. Oh, no, it must be somewhere here. Hey! Eddie, what are you doing now? For heaven's sake, get the people now. Move. What <laughs> <laughs> like a rocket, eh? He must have a damp fuse. Come on, Black. I'll bring him out of here. Oh, now, Pa, now I... Come on. Oh, all right. Come on, Blackie, pussy, 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 pussy. Look, Frida, pussy, 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 pussy. Go on, stop. Mice, lovely, fat, juicy mice. Canaries, bacheritos, cats, and lady cats. <laughs> the advantages of a sheltered upbringing. Oh, stop making jokes and help me, will you? Ready? Get on! Oh, 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 And he didn't even stop for his supper. Here, cook yourself something. <laughs> you won't start raving mad. What is this? Now remember, Paul, whatever she does to you, it was worth it. Her, you and Eddie. Now, what were you doing? A disposal squad or something? The cat. You're not going to tell me the cat done this. Uh, 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 yes, he did, didn't he, Jeff? Oh, he crazed he was, like a thing possessed. What are you trying to tell me? Ada. Be brave. He's gone. Gone? Ah, uh, we tried to stop him. We tried to reason with him, and ah, uh, that door ever came to be open, I shall never know. But it was. And Ada. He smelt freedom, you see. He smelt it. You'll smell the back of my hand in a minute. Now clear up the fence. Yes. And stop telling me fancy stories. Really. Fancy, fancy stories. <laughs> Oh, don't go to any trouble, please. Trouble, my dear girl. After all the times your mother's obliged me, I'm only too pleased to retaliate. <laughs> Many the packet of tea I've had off you, eh, hey, Ada? Many. Oh, and now you can get your own back, can't you? None, none left. Oh, I feel that caddy. Look, I'll tell you what, knit next door and ask her. Don't bother. I always carry a packet in case you miss me at home. <laughs> Oh, really, I couldn't. Still, I suppose I shall have to. I can't run offer you a cup, I can I? <laughs> Not now you can't, mind. You can't stay long. I wouldn't rest easy. Oh, I'll get your cushion down. I don't mean the chair. I mean my conscience. Mind you, I did leave him some hot rows in the oven, but when I think that poor little chap might be pining for me... Oh, you mean Eddie? No, of course I don't mean Eddie. He's got 
pickled pork and bread pudding to follow. <laughs> no, I, I mean, Blackie might be pining Oh, for me. your new natural. Yes, your Alf was telling our Sam and Sam told me. We was having a good laugh about it. Oh. Was you? Yeah. In a good-natured way, of course. Oh, I'll bet Alf wasn't laughing, good-natured or otherwise. Angry's not the word for it. He's gone dead Osborne over that cat. I wouldn't put it past him to do the mischief if he thought he could get away with it. Oh, no, never. He'd never get away with it. He might try. It's not all dead either. Jeff's as bad and Eddie. Oh, no, not Eddie. He'd never side with them against me. He's loyal, he's fair-minded, he's scared stiff of what I'd do to him. <laughs> oh, that's it. It's up to Eddie now. Oh, do you think Eddie can handle this? What has he got to handle? He's out, calmly walking the cat. Suddenly the brute goes berserk and bolts. He sees a, a dog or a gold cup or something. Anyway, Eddie, after a long and fruitless search, returns home broken-hearted, and we are without one cat. Supposing we're not? Then we are without one Eddie. Where can he have got to? He's been gone over an hour. Oh, no, no. That's the back door. He may Hello, mate. Oh, we have to get him back. I took him miles, <laughs> all around the side streets and the back doubles. And I waited till he wasn't looking. Yes, yes, and yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes. I ran like the wind, yes. knees up, elbows down, belting <laughs> along. <laughs> Wait here. I, 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 I... Aye, 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 aye. But what's he going to do? I don't know, Eddie, but it's been swell knowing. Come on, Hildebrand. Walk his. But he's already been. Yes, but this time he's not coming back. <laughs> okay. No, thank you, Eddie. Five's my limit. No, nothing. You'll be quiet, Myrtle. Anything wrong? No. Oh. Yes, there is. I, I'm sorry to offend you, but this has been boiling up inside of me. It's just got to come out. So there. Well? Well, I'm sorry if I've offended you, but I just had to speak my mind. You, you didn't mind me speaking my mind, did you? Not at all, but what was it speaking in, shorthand? <laughs> well, shouldn't there have been something in between your boiling up and simmering down, or do we have to guess? Oh, didn't I? Well, that just shows you how I feel about it. How oh. you feel about what? Really, Murph, I think we should be more intricate. Eddie, take that cat for walks. I don't think it's natural. Well, he's been seen out with worse things than a prize cat. Joyce. Oh, I'll have a straight talk with her when you've gone. Mind you, I'm not much of a one for cats myself. No? No, no. Give me a dog every time. I wouldn't be without a dog myself. Well, all I can say is it's a wonder you've never had one. No, oh, oh, but we're getting one. That's where Sam's gone to at the moment. We've got a lovely little puppy on order. He's just gone down to pick it up. Oh, uh, by the way, is that cat of yours fierce? No, but I would advise you to keep your puppy on its own side of the fence. Blackie's on a strict diet. <laughs> I wonder if he's bad. You know, I haven't felt like this since Eddie was little and Alf left him on top of a bus. <laughs> no, I can't see a thing, just the, the top of our lamp tray. You stand on a chair, you can see right into your living room. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I never. So you can. I never realised. I shall have to get some thicker curtains. <laughs> Sometimes, when I want to see the time. We'll have to whip round and buy you a clock. Oh, yes. Yes, Eddie's back, so black he must be back. Yes, I can see him sitting there playing drafts with Jeff. Eddie's playing drafts. The cat doesn't play drafts. <laughs> oh, no, well, of course. They won't let him be cheap. <laughs> no, we're doing that then. Seeing ourselves as others see us. Give us a hand down, dear. If you're ready, we'll be going. I wouldn't put him past out to eat those up robes himself. Oh, well, just as you say, love, but you're quite welcome to stay. I was just going to cut some sandwiches. I'd rather you didn't. I'm short of bread. <laughs> well, that's a nice game, and Dad's not back yet. What do we do? Form a search party or ring for the police? Wait, there he is now. Hello, Dad. What happened, Rob? Well, that's that. I'll tell you, that cat never stood a chance. I thought him, I run him, and I fenced him. Out fenced him? Yes, and some of those fences were flipping iron all. <laughs> I lost him between the cement yard and the coal depot. <laughs> and there he is, waiting to be found. Oh, well done, Dad. <laughs> But what do we tell Mom? What do we tell... Honestly, some of you modern youngsters, you've got no backbone to... What's that? 
Brought your cat back. You what? It's just some mistake. No, we haven't got a cat, have we? We're no cat. Don't no no. give me that. I've seen you lose it. I've seen you running around looking for it. Looking for it? Well, you wouldn't be trying to lose it, now, would you? Oh no, of course not. He went so fast I couldn't catch up with him. Well, I have now. Yes, you have now. And what a clever little boy you are, to be sure. <laughs> Now look, I'll tell you what to do, son. You take that cat home, keep him till Saturday, and take it back to the lad who really owns him, and you'll get yourself a reward. That's right. See, yeah. on the collar here, look. ow! On, on the collar here is a little disc, and it says the name and the address, and find a reward. Yeah. See? Come on, Ike. Yeah, seems all right. That's good. Here, he'll have to share a room with my other pets. Oh? Uh, what are your other pets? Three white mice and a bull mastiff. <laughs> oh, well, swings and the roundabouts. So long, Blackie. Have good night, boy. But, oh, hell. Oh, there. Hello, what goes on here? Uh, uh, a son. A uh, son of a very old friend of mine loves cats. And I said to him, I said, I said, come round and hold him like, you know. Oh, isn't that nice? Good night. Ah, oh, no, love, you can't take him. Here, please. No, 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 no. I, I, I said that you should hold him. And you have, haven't you? What yeah. about the reward? Reward? No, uh, virtue is its own reward. That's what you meant, isn't it? No. I said, isn't it? No. Good night, Mr. Boy. Thank you. Must be really fond of animals. Oh, he loves this one. Virtue has its own reward. Boy, it's dead virtuous, that boy. You're up to your larks again, Joyce. I smell something fishy. So do I, and I... Fishy? Oh! Blackie's up road. Ruined, oh. oh, let's face it, Blackie's got us licked. You're right, he certainly has got us licked. Now, let, I, I hereby dispose of the disposal squad. Yeah, but Julia comes back tomorrow. Yes. All right. Which one have you done it? What? what are you talking about? Don't give me that. You've been trying to get rid of Blackie all week and now you've done it. Of all the dirty rotten... No, wait a minute, Ma. We yeah, had... Do you mean to say he's gone? Of course he's gone. And well, you know it. You was waiting until I was polishing his equipment and then you let him out. But we didn't. He's in the house somewhere. Oh, no, he isn't. I've searched every room. Now, listen. You're going out to find him and bring him back. <laughs> or I am going to know the reason why. Now, get going! She means it. She means it. Now, now spread out and start walking. And get going! Oh, there you are. Bless you. Oh, they tried to sabotage him. But he's come back with old foster mum. I found him, but that's not Blackie. This is Blackie. I don't know. Well, one of them must be. I don't want cat. Three cats? <laughs> well, that didn't take off. Oh, 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 oh. That's why, Ma, you keep going. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a complication, isn't it? It's not a complication, it's an epidemic. We'll put them down and let's sort them out. <laughs> oh, you like Whipsnade, isn't it? <laughs> Six game and set. There's the telephone. Like we haven't got enough wrong, Well, neighbor. have you sorted about? Find out which one's Blackie. I'll answer the phone. Blackie? Blackie? Blackie, Blackie, Blackie? Blackie, Blackie. Oh, it's baffling, isn't it? Well, it can't all be Blackie. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past that perisher to pull a stroke like this. What are we going to do? Well, obviously, we'll have to keep them all here until Julian gets back. Oh, no. I'm not taking that lot for walkies. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't we... I don't know, fit the collar round. Uh, you know, like Cinderella. Fit the collar round. Like Cinderella. Alfred! Yes, son. Come and go. Yes, I know. That was Julia Threadgold. Yeah, but she's not due home until... She's home, until... she's got Blackie and she's flaming mad. Oh, and she's got to be flaming mad about it. She's got... She's got Blackie? The news who... Imposters, every one of them. You brought them in here, didn't you? Throw Me? dust in my eyes. I... You know how Blackie got back to Julia. Uh, 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 that boy took him Boy? Back. A very virtuous, I'm sure. He claimed a reward and said that you put what? him up to no, it. No, I didn't say oh, so. No, no, I... Say by the knocker. Go! This is our fight. Oh, it's a bit bigger than we expected, but it's ever so hey, Look, don't bring that thing in here. The kitchen is full of cats. Cats, cats, whatever you say. No, no! no, 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 no. <laughs>